guitars, because there's most often two separate pickups or three, there's a, a toggle switch that controls which pickups are on and then you have separate volume controls and tone controls. And this allows you to control the type of sound you're getting from the guitar. You can then also change it on the amplifier itself. But for now, let's just have a look at what happens on the guitar on an electric guitar. So there are four knobs and one switch. The switch controls which pickup is actually on. So when the switch is up, it's just on the neck pickup, which will give you more of a woody, warm, rhythm guitar kind of sound. When you put the switch in the middle, it has both pickups on. And when you put the switch all the way down, you have the back pickup on, which will give you more of a twangy, uh, bright sound. Then the knobs themselves, this knob controls the volume for this pickup, and this knob controls the volume for that pickup. And then this knob back here controls the tone for the front pickup, and this one controls the tone for the back pickup. And on most Gibson or Epiphone style guitars, it, like a Les Paul or a 335, it's the same setup. This is the same three-way switch and the same setup of knobs. And what it allows you to do is control not only the tone of each pickup, but the volume. So you can be playing on the bottom, on the back pickup and have the volume be at full blast. And then you can set the volume a lot lower on the top pickup. And then in the middle of a song, you can just click up and then you've got a quieter sound or a darker sound. On a Stratocaster style body or a Telecaster or most Fender instruments, they have a single volume that controls both pickups and a switch that works on a Telecaster much more like this. And on a Stratocaster, it's actually a five-way switch because there are three pickups and several different ways that it works.